Hey guys, this is Auspicious Aussie here. Welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager series with Melbourne Heart. Um, as you can see today, uh, we are versing Wellington Phoenix in the live com in a 32 degree Celsius New Zealand day. Um, as you can see in the league table, we are sitting in sixth place, but it's uh, all fairly congested up to third and, and last. Um, an interesting little thing I wanted to show you guys just before I get into the fixtures is Sydney FC has sacked uh, their manager. Um, yeah, I, th I thought that was just a little bit funny. And the fact that um, Sydney are being linked with the former manager of Melbourne Heart who came last and then got sacked, whose job I took over. Um, but yeah, as you can see, sitting in six, um, and getting to the fixtures now. As you guys can see, that was the last game against Adelaide United. Very frustrating game. I mean, I was I was quite bummed about it, and and yeah. Uh, then I moved on and uh, got myself together, thought of how I could improve things, and. And the team definitely did improve. Um, we were away at Newcastle against Newcastle Jets. And we pulled off the 2-1 away victory. Uh, with the Gansic and Idrisu getting the only goals there for us. Of course, of course they equalised. I think it was like stoppage time again. Which, I mean, it, it pissed me off just to concede in, in stoppage time again. Because, of course, of that game up there. Uh, but moving on, I was thoroughly disappointed. I was really excited for this, this Melbourne derby here. And I mean, in front of 27,000, that's a huge crowd for the A-League. I mean, we got dominated, to put it simply. I mean, Melbourne Victory, they they played a, they played a, a different formation than, than I'm used to. Uh, they had three at the back, two wing backs, then about three mid uh, centre midfielders, and I think it was two up front incredibly weird and I wasn't exactly sure how to how to uh, uh, set up against it really and as you can see all average uh, average average ratings um, nobody stood out at all and uh, yeah we then got over that result and this was another big game against Sydney FC at, at the Allianz Stadium and we managed to beat them 1-0, and I was absolutely chuffed about this. I mean, uh, like that, that's the best thing. Beating, Of course, I don't like beating Sydney because they are my team uh, in Australia. But um, just the fact that they sacked me and I managed to beat them with a team that came last um, was really satisfying. Deganzic getting the only goal there. But um, Moroni and uh, Wilk, in fact, the whole defense was pretty, pretty stand out there. Um, yeah, I was absolutely, uh, I was just so happy about that result there. We then versus Brisbane Roar again, and we still didn't manage to beat them. A nice nil all draw uh, away from home. I was, I was fairly happy about that. Um, as you can see, defense played extremely good. I mean, even Topper Stanley, who was a center back, got a 7.2 at left back. Um, they each didn't play very well, but... Of course, nil all. That can be excused. And here we go today. That is the Wellington Phoenix. Um, they are the current uh, champions of the league. And I'm pretty sure they're actually coming first still. Let's check that out. No, they're not. They are in... Oh, they're in fifth spot. So if we beat them today, we might be able to get in front of them. Although they do have a game... Oh, no. That's a game against us. Ooh, we'd have to score... Two goals, three goals maybe, three goals to get in front of them. But anyway, goal difference doesn't really matter at this stage of the season. Um, so yeah, I'm not worrying too much about that. Just want to go out there, want my players to give it their all, and uh, we'll try and get a result. All right, let's get to the gays game. All right, Melbourne Hart versus Wellington Phoenix. And as you as you can see, the top goal scorer for Wellington, leading the charts is uh, Smirica. We know him very well from from last season against 
uh, when, when I was seeing the manager. I mean, he is quality, uh, very pacey. But as you can see, for us, to Ganzich, three goals leading the way, and he's he's a very quick player on the right wing. Um, Wellington are favourites, but um, you never know with my team, do you? <laughs> One day we can destroy any team, the next day we can lose 4-0. Um, as far as lineup goes, I think I might leave it how it is, as results have been going fairly good recently. Um, so yeah, Redmayne hasn't been incredibly impressive. Uh, neither has Adrisu, but I'm hoping that he'll start to come into his own. And now his best role as a striker is a poacher. Changed him to advance forward, because I thought that was his best role, but obviously not. FM is lying to me. Um, Julius Davies, yeah. Alright. Everyone okay? Yep, yeah, let's do this. As you can see, they have uh, Nicky Carl former Sydney player that was out on loan all last season, which we were paying his 8k wages, which was just horrible. Um, opposition instructions. Smreka. Tight marking. Uh, closing down. Hard tackling. Show onto a weaker foot. That'll do. Don't really care about the other ones, do I? Um, I know we have underdogs. Uh, great team talk. Good work, guys. And we're underway with the pointless highlight. I mean, I'm really liking these two German centre backs that I have. I mean, they have they've been a little bit inconsistent, but that's to be um, that's to be so. What is that? I mean, I have to expect that they both can't speak English. I mean. They've both just come to a new club, new country. Um, but, I mean, we're almost halfway through the season, I think. Maybe a third through the season. Um, I'd say by next season, they, they should be fairly comfortable uh, with everything that's going on in Australia. And, um, well, that's off the crossbar. And, I mean, I'm hoping they'll be able to um, perform to their absolute best next season. We just can't get the ball, can we? Oh, top of Stanley, top tackle. And keeps it. Oh, and that's the end of that highlight. Um, they are dominating possession. They are at home. We have a corner. Swung in. Rocker. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Ah, offside. I oh, know, that was a foul by a rocker. <laughs> Us is bench flagged offside twice in seven minutes. And there's half time. Alright. Calm. Happy with the performance. Keep it up. <sighs> Come on, guys. Top of Stanley. I mean, I put him in. He is the centre back, but I put him at left back um, when all the players are away on uh, international duty with their various uh, age teams. And he has played um, extremely well. I mean, he's he's been a rocket left back. Come on, Adrisu. Come on, Adrisu. Oh, that was a furious strike. He'll get it in. Fred. Oh, look at that skill. Tom Stanley to get bitch. Yes. Go. And our top scorer has... Uh, increases tally to four so far for this season. Uh, Breton's picked up a knock. I'm gonna gonna sub him out and swap Fred and Levchenko over. Um, might bring Julius Davies on as well for Bayic. Let's do that. I mean, hopefully Breton's injury won't be uh, serious because he is uh, very important in the midfield there. The Dries is unmarked. Oh, how did he not score then? How did he not score then? I do not know. I do not know. I mean, I'm hoping he comes good as well. I think he's only scored one goal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only one. 
red main pumps it long. Oh, that's got to be a foul there. Oh, Moss will pump it up. Oh, he'll go short, actually. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Not stoppage time. Not stoppage time. The amount of goal. Oh, Delevsky with an absolute bone cruncher. Patrice is running with the ball. Plays him again. Hitch. Can he score another one? Oh, it shoots, but that's a goal kick. And that is the final whistle. Guys, we have finally won on a live com. I mean, that was an impressive 1 0 win. No one gave us a chance, but we've done it. And we are, in fact, up into uh, fifth spot now. I mean, we could very easily get into second, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want to take each game as it comes and just try and get these results that are extremely hard to get. I don't, I don't know why they're so hard for me to get, but um, as you can see, I've got Western Sydney Wanderers up next, but I'll just check out when the next uh, live com is and who it's against. The next live com will be against the Newcastle Jets, um, and that'll be on the 4th of January, um, and as you can see, another four fixtures uh, to play before I meet you guys back here. So guys, um, if you've liked what you've seen today, we've got an impressive victory away in New Zealand. I mean, it's, it's a quality win right there. Um, the boys played well. They defended extremely well. Um, if you like what they, if you like what you saw from them, guys, give the video a like. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe. It really um, will help. I mean. I love doing these videos, but um, it's sometimes it's hard when I'm not getting many views on on any of my videos. Um, I, I would love to build up a fan base. That, that would be just incredible. So if you can, please subscribe. Um, I don't want to press you into it or anything like that because that's just not what I want to do. But um, if you if you do want to do it, then just go ahead and do it. If you don't have a, a YouTube account, they only take a few minutes to make. I mean. It'll be worth it because you'll be able to subscribe and you'll be able to like all my videos and you'll know when they're when they're up and and what's going on. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, I've been Auspicious Aussie and you guys have been great.